Okay, now we're in our uh, breeders building. This is where we keep our brood stock and all our spawners. So we'll actually have our, on the outside two raceways are our generations. So there are up and coming spawners. Uh, these guys over here are two and a half and they will be spawned for the first time this winter. And the guys in the middle are our current group. They're about seven years old and uh, 10 to 12 pounds. Some are slightly bigger. And then these guys are three year olds and they'll be uh, spawning for the first time this fall. And they're around four pounds. In total, there's about, uh, about 1,500 fish in this building. And each of these fish, uh, different times of year, but they each spawn once a year. So we're trying to get it where we can have eggs uh, throughout most of, the, most of the year to keep the flow of fish going, coming out. So the water in here is all gravity and, uh, and it's a flow through. The water is turning over every uh, 15 minutes or so. And we feed them a special broodstock diet. They're the only fish on this diet. It's formulated for uh, good egg production. And, uh, and all these fish are unrelated, so we can actually cross spawn them and uh, to keep the genetics pure. And just to show you a size difference, this is basically our starter feed versus uh, our broodstock feed, which is the biggest feed that we feed at this facility. And uh, so the process of spawning is we crowd them up and we put them in a tote and there's a, a drug in here called MS-222 that seduces the fish so that we can actually work with them without hurting them because they are fairly sizable. So they're in here and they're for about a minute or so. So this is one of our brood stocks. Uh, she's probably about eight years old and she would give us around five to 6,000 eggs per year. She'll be spawning in, uh, well, based on her coloring, she'll probably be spawning before Christmas. And uh, yeah, so we're, we knocked them out. We'll put in around half a dozen in this tote. And when they're ready to spawn, they're put in the MS-222 so they're easy for us to handle. And uh, then we spawn them into a clean margin dish where we collect all our fertile eggs or we collect all our eggs for the day and then we collect a group of males and we'll do all the fertilization and then we'll set the eggs in the incubators. So once she's knocked out and spawned out, we put her back in the fresh water and they'll come to in about uh, 30 seconds. And this is just an example of one of our two and a half year olds, just for the size difference. So she'll be, yeah, so this is kind of what we're looking for for our genetics and for our brood stock. So and these fish, once they're spawned out, they're left alone for a year. They just go back into the water to recover and uh, grow their next crop for the year after. So after we collect all our eggs, they do go in the incubators and this farm here, we'll keep them till about five grams and then we'll sell them back to Cedar Crest or Blue Springs, and that's where they grow out, grow, finish them up for uh, fingerlings. So this farm is basically a feeder farm. We do the brood stock and, uh, and all the early rearing at this facility.